Hey, it's Josh coming to you from the RPM shop. Um, we've had a few customers uh, call and inquire about uh, the new timing system that we've got on the second generation Nitro. It's a split timing cable system, um, and we figured we probably ought to do a tutorial on how to swap these things out. Um, although they're super, super simple, we figured that uh, we better better walk you through it once before, uh, before we get a bunch of them uh, out there. That being said, at this point we need to figure out which Nitro you have. Um, do you have a generation one or a generation two? A real easy way to tell is this nylon insert in the riser here. If you see that nylon insert uh, on, your, on your nitro, it's a gen two nitro. Another easy way to tell is looking at your top timing wheel. If it has the button head screw in the washer, then it's a generation one nitro. You need one solid timing cable uh, instead of the split timing cable system like the generation two has. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna tear down this, uh, this generation two nitro um, and show you how to replace uh, the split timing cable system. So first and foremost, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the grip off. So we're gonna remove it. Um, take your Allen wrenches that come in your kit, back these screws off out of the grip. We'll take those out. This panel comes off, we'll set it off to the side, rotate it up, pull this back panel off, set it off to the side. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this nylon insert. And the way that you do that is you're gonna take a screwdriver or a punch from the back side of the riser and you're just gonna push on that nylon piece that you can see right down here in this groove. So we're just gonna push on it. It doesn't take much pressure and it's gonna pop right up and then you're gonna slide it out of that track. And again, just set it off to the side. The next thing that we're gonna do, and this is no different than a traditional uh, or the generation one nitro, is we're gonna loosen up the tensioner set screw back here on this bottom uh, timing wheel. So we're gonna back it out you don't have to take it all the way out, but back it out far enough that it's not gonna give you um, any friction on that tensioner. So back it out, set that wrench off to the side, then get yourself a big flat bladed screwdriver, put it in that tensioner, and then back it out counterclockwise. You're gonna see these cables come out of the back of that timing wheel. Make sure they come out as far as they possibly can, and you'll start to see them actually go back into the tensioner once you've got it all the way loose. So now that we've got it loose, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to the top timing wheel, and we're gonna pull this cable out of the holes or the, the, the crimp holes in this top timing wheel. And again, this bow is still strung up. It's set at 45 pounds, cam cables, saddle cables, the string, they're all intact. In fact, the timing screw is still intact. But we're gonna pull these crimps out and then we're just gonna back them back down through the riser itself. So what we're gonna do is take this through the face of the riser like this, and then we're gonna go down through the, the center of the riser. I'm gonna rotate this over so you can see it. We still have the grip guide down here, and the first one, the first one of these crimps is kinda of tough to get to go through there um, because of the tolerances, but just wiggle it through there. Once you've got that out, then the second one will come through no problem. And then I'm gonna set this back up on, on the limb pockets. And the same thing that we did on the Gen 1 Nitro, your, the tensioner, now we're just gonna force it through. You can use a screwdriver, but I like to use something that's blunt, like, a, uh, like the 5 16 Allen wrench that comes in your kit. And then we're just gonna force that tensioner out of the timing wheel and that crimp. And then you can take a screwdriver or what have you. And if, it's, if the timing cable's junk, I mean, shoot, you can just, um, you can, you can just cut it and pull it back out. But that's the split timing cable system. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reinstall it. Basically just redo what we just did. So you've got the brass crimp. It's gonna go into the timing wheel here. We're gonna force it in to that timing wheel like that. And then again, using an Allen wrench or something blunt, we're gonna force that crimp out of the timing wheel. And I don't know if my hat's in your way, but we're gonna force it out so that you've got about a I don't know, half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch of cable sticking out of the timing wheel. Then we're gonna grab the tensioner and we're gonna set the crimp inside the tensioner and then we're gonna pull the timing cable back out, keeping tension on that, uh, that tensioner. And then what I like to do is grab a screwdriver and kind of center it up. Um, you know, it's a lot easier to do it with, once you get it set like this, it's a lot easier to do it with a screwdriver, at least I found. Um, to get everything tightened back up. Now, what you wanna do is rotate this back and forth and make sure these timing cables are moving 
in and out and if they are then you've got it set right if they don't move then it's bound up in there and you need to take it back out get it centered back up and then and then uh, get it so that it will move back and forth now what we're going to do is we're going to take these timing cables and we're just going to route them around this timing wheel on the back side of these cables so we're going to go let me turn this around so you can see what we're doing so what we're going to do is we're going to take this cable here we're going to put it up on the pulley and it doesn't have to go directly on the pulley then we're going to go up through the grip guide so one crimp through there and then we're going to put another crimp through there so both of them run through the grip guide and we're going to pull this and then this is going to go through the front side of the the bow riser like that and I'm going to flip it around so you can see what's going on over here on this side so what it, what we've done is we've routed this timing cable back through the grip through the rest shelf and then right back up through the riser to the to the the bearings and this timing wheel up here now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this back around so you can see what I'm talking about the only thing that uh, that can cause you any problems with this with this timing system and it doesn't matter whether it's this one or whether it's a a one piece is you've got to make sure that this cable here that's run on the bottom of this timing wheel so this one here you can call it the bottom or the top but we'll call it the bottom for all uh, for all uh, for all uh, for example purposes this piece here has to go to the top of this wheel so they've got to go offset so this piece on the bottom has got to go to the top if that makes sense so what you're going to want to do is make sure that when you pull tension like this you can see that it's this cable that's moving so this cable needs to go up to the top and wrap in to the top of the timing wheel this this side then we're going to look at this one and that's going to be okay on the bottom then we're going to wrap this up and around the back side and it's going to get plugged in so that it runs on that side now if you get it backwards it's no big deal just as you start to load the bow the cams are going to fight against each other and you're not you won't be able to draw the bow then you just have to reverse it so now that we've got everything lined up what we're going to do is I'm going to I'll turn this back around so you can see I'm trying to do this upside down it's not the easiest thing to do and then what we're going to do is we're going to apply a little bit of tension on this timing cable here so that it will start to take up some of the slack it doesn't have to go super tight but what I want you to do is just tighten it up just slightly so that we can get everything ran onto these onto these pulleys so you want to make sure that the timing cables ran on the, the, this bearing, this bearing through here, everything's good. And then up here, everything's on the, the wheel, everything looks okay. Now I'm going to turn it back around and we're going to tighten this up just a little bit more. <clears throat> About there. And then you're going to grab your Allen wrench to hold the tensioner. So it's that set screw. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tighten that down again then we're going to run back through and make sure that everything looks like it's routed correctly so we've got this everything looks good there you don't need to get these cables guitar string tight you just want them tight enough that they can't derail off of uh, these bearings and you can tighten it down as, as tight as you want but again you don't need a guitar string tight so now that we can check this and make sure that this cable here is routed to the bottom of this timing wheel and this cable here and you can tell that by just simply giving it some pressure and you can see it move down here on this timing wheel. We know that it's put together correctly. Um, everything's dialed in. Then we're going to throw this insert back into the, into the riser. So it will slide down in that trough just like that and snap back in. Then we're going to install the back side of our grip like that. We're going to install the front side. We'll tighten that down just a little bit. Just a little bit there. Everything's good to go. Everything looks good. Check it for timing, tiller, and you're back off to the races. For any other uh, tutorials, any other questions, make sure you visit us online, rpmbowfishing.com.